Welcome back. Another journey together in the Psalms is Psalm 21. I open up your Bibles with me if you would. And we have an exciting Psalm for today, a, a reason to rejoice. We're given another day uh, to be able to proclaim God's salvation. Uh, we are given another day to proclaim God's victory over the uh, sin, death, and the devil. And we have a uh, comprised psalm here. We have a well-put-together psalm that is definitely joined together with 18 and 20, talking about the king and uh, his glories here on earth, but the king that is in leadership, uh, but what that means, what his hope is, or frankly, what his trust is in. It's definitely a uh, walking from Psalm 20. So if you want to couple those together, go ahead and read those together again uh, today, Psalm 20 and Psalm 21, as you see the king working, and it always comes from God, as we talked about uh, in Psalm 20 uh, just a day ago. Uh, but Psalm 21 really gets to speak about an introduction, and then it has a conclusion. It's kind of like the story form, form psalm. It's a liturgical psalm uh, where they would worship in and amongst it, where it says introduction, conclusion, and it comes to a climax in verse 7. But it talks about the blessed way of the king. And what is the blessed way as it makes its way up to that kind of climax and then lives in that climax as the victory of the king through the blessings or frankly through the chesed, the unfailing love of God. So let's read together Psalm 21. From the director of music, a Psalm of David, Psalm 21. O Lord, the king rejoices in your strength. How great is his joy in the victories you give. You have granted him the desire of his heart and have not withheld the request of his lips. You welcomed him with rich blessings and placed a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked you for life and you gave it to him, length of days forever and ever. Through the victories you gave, his glory is great. You have bestowed on him splendor and majesty. Surely you have granted him eternal blessings and made him glad with the joy of your presence. You see the theme inside of there. Here is all the blessings of God for the king. Welcomed him back, brought him into a community, brought him back into his community, crowned him with a crown of gold, meaning victory. The king is blessed. And why? Here's the climax, verse 7. For the king trusts in the Lord through the unfailing of the Most High. He will not be shaken. Your hand will lay hold on all your enemies. Your right hand will seize your foes. At the time of your appearing, you will make them like a fiery furnace. In his wrath, the Lord will swallow them up and his fire will consume them. You will destroy their descendants from the earth, their posterity from mankind. Though they plot evil against you and devise wicked schemes, they cannot succeed. For you will make them turn their you will make them turn their backs when you aim at them with drawn bow. Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your might. Once again, it speaks about how the king is blessed. It comes to the climax of the chesed of God. That's that Hebrew word there, chesed, unfailing love, unfailing kindness. Frankly, his presence in and amongst the evil or his enemies. And frankly, the victory. That's that kind of chesed of the unbelievable presence and love and kindness of God in and amongst an enemy or frankly, a situation that looks powerful. But he comes in with his chesed, his loving kindness, and to show the real power in our life. We take from today this psalm that the king, yes, is blessed because of one thing. He trusts in the Most High God. And in the trust and in the chesed of that loving Most High God, he wins all the battles. He walks forward in his everyday life knowing that he has won the victory. He wears the crown of gold. You and I wear the crown of gold of eternal life. Come what may today, come the battles, come the sorrow, come the toughness of our day today. Our Lord Most High, let us trust in him for he has fought our battle and he does not give us fire. He does not consume us with his wrath, but he consumes us with his chesed, his loving kindness for day to day. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray to him for our everyday life. Father, we thank you for your chesed, the loving kindness, your presence in and amongst our sorrow, in and amongst our enemies, and amongst the battles that we face day to day. Continue to help us to trust in you in everything. Help us to lead others to this unbelievable loving kindness and loving presence 
of the Most High God. Give us strength and courage to walk in our day-to-day life in the victory that we have, the crown of everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed and chesed day.